Shalom. I want to give praise on the glory to Yahweh, Shem Hal Shaiba, Shem Rakakadash, and Dub Honest to the elders and apostles of Great Moves, Son of Thomas Truth, and peace, blessing, and salutation. So hopeful, let. And yeah, man, I just want to quickly speak about this um, dream that I had. Like, literally, I ain't gonna lie, man. I was just um, thinking about the how that I'm catching, and um, I was also thinking about doing the lesson. And at that point in time, I just felt tired and, you know, went to sleep and I fell asleep quickly. And normally that doesn't happen. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I fell asleep quickly and I had, I had this dream, man, basically about the elect of the elect and how they're chosen before the foundation of the world. <clears throat> and so basically what happened in this dream was, um, I was basically in this massive field. I was in this massive field and um, I was with other members of the elect. I was with other members and we were basically walking and all of a sudden this Jake comes out of nowhere and he's preaching about Cesare Bourget and JC. And um, he's basically saying that anyone can make it. And he was basically telling his congregation that anyone can make it. And there was um, Elamites up in there, um, people from the nation of Elam up in there, all, all listening to him, believing him. And I was just thinking, let me just hold my tongue and let me hear what he has to say. <clears throat> and then, um, I ain't gonna lie, it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. It was literally no clouds in the sky. It's sunny. I was um on grass and I just decided to lay down. And then I laid down and then all of a sudden the chariots started to appear and they started flying over me, man. While I'm while I'm looking up into the air. Then I'm shouting, call all your helpers and how shy I got I got up on this. Basically jumping around saying, call all your house, how The chariots are gone, the chariots are gone. I was jumping around, excited, man. <clears throat> and then, um, all of a sudden, it's like, the, the, the scene, the scene just changed. And next thing you know, I'm in this room with, um, the heathen. And, um, <laughs> I was basically saying, <clears throat> look up man can't you see the chariots and at this point the heavens look different man it's like I could see past the water that was up there being the water that's been held up there by the firmament as it's mentioned in, um, in Genesis in Genesis 1 and 6 <clears throat> as it's mentioned here it says and the power said let there be a famine in the midst of the waters, and they divide the waters from the waters. And the powers made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and even in the morning of the second day. So, yeah, there's water up there. And I could literally see through the water, man. It was see through. And what I saw was these different planets. And I saw. <clears throat> All the stars, man. I saw all the stars. I saw these different planets, these different galaxies, and and different solar systems, man. <clears throat> and literally, another thing about that is um, the children of Israel are going to inhabit them, because like the scriptures may mention, man. Father's house. John fourteen and two says, "In my Father's house are many mansions." If it were not so, I would have not told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And yeah, man, the Lord's been putting in that extra work. With the powers, man. Making new planets, solar systems, universes. Even Esau can confirm. Even Esau can confirm that there's planets that are appearing. And these different solar systems and galaxies are appearing out of nowhere. And even Esau will be saying um, <clears throat> that... These planets shouldn't exist, but the the dude that just been popping up, 
And that's because the Lord Yahweh Shai been putting in that extra work. He's preparing a place for the sons of God, man. And like the scriptures may mention, man. What is a mansion to Yahweh Shai? Because we know it's we know it's not just a planet. Because like it makes mention here. <clears throat> and it says Isaiah 6 and 1 it says thus saith the Lord Yahweh the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool where is the house that ye build unto me and where is the place of my rest so yeah the, the Lord Yahweh considers the earth his footstool man. so it would be a mansion to Yahweh by Shem obviously these other galaxies and solar systems man and these different planets man <clears throat> that are in the midst of them and not only that we're gonna branch out man blossom yeah isaiah 27 and 6 he says he shall cause them that come out of jacob being the sons of god the 12 tribes of israel to take root israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit. <clears throat> meaning, let's say, blossom and bud basically meaning to grow. Because that's what a plant does when um, it blossoms, it, it, it grows. And like you mentioned, to fill the face of the world with fruit, meaning offspring. So at some point, this the earth is going to be um, overpopulated if we, do, if we were just supposed to stay on the earth. But that's what these other galaxies and solar systems are for, man. And all those do those new planets. It's for us to go there and create more Israelites, man. <clears throat> and yeah, man, we're gonna be creating new spirits too. So they can inhabit those um celestial bodies that we're going to create <clears throat> during the act of um sexual intercourse. Because we're going to be able to make those celestial bodies when we're in the new covenant. And that's when our bodies will be changed, man. I mean, we're going to be like Yahweh Shai, man. Or should I say mini Yahweh's? <laughs> running, running to and fro <clears throat> all over the place, man. And dwelling everywhere. But, um, yeah, carrying on with the dream. Yeah, so... There was this chariot that basically um it was flying and I knew it was above the firmament because when it flew this is the water that was up there made a ripple effect. You know, like when you throw a stone in the water and it makes those little waves in the water. That's what I saw when I looked up, man. Literally the the chariot was flying through the, the water that was up there. And actually, different chariots were just flying all over the place. And I was saying to the to the heathen, can't you see the chariots of God? Can't you see, can't you see the powers up there? And and they were like, what are you talking about? We can't see anything. And literally, a couple were flying and I said, look, there they are right there, flying right now. And and, and they just couldn't understand. And then that's when I said to the, um, the Edomite woman, <clears throat> I said, literally, there's an elect of the elect, and they've been chosen from the beginning. And this is not for everyone. And then she started coming up in my face, trying to <clears throat> put her hands on me. And she was saying, um, where does that say that in the book? And literally, I pulled out my phone, and I was going to search for it. And she, got, and she, she kept trying to stop me from going into the book to show her. But she's the one who asked the question, where is it? So I was going to show her. But, um, yeah, man, she didn't want me to go into the book. <laughs> and just like um the heathen today, in today's age, man, they don't want you to go into the book. They want to hear your words. They don't want to hear the words of your Hawabah Shem Haushai. But the scriptures say to speak as the oracles of God. So why wouldn't you read the words that the prophets wrote that came from your Hawabah Shem Haushai? Because like the scriptures may mention, man. Luke 1 and 70, it says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. 
So yeah, so all, before all these things were created, the prophets were already there. They were already chosen. And the elect were already there too. <clears throat> Let's just say the elect of the elect were already there. And also, let me get this. Hosea, is it 10? No, 12 and 10. It says, I've also spoken by the prophets and I've multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So, yeah, man, the Lord speaks by his prophets, man. So then again, psh, these people who say, oh, the Bible was just written by a man. No, it was written by holy men. The prophets who were given the Lord's spirit to be able to understand the visions that they saw and to write them down in a book. As the scriptures may mention, man. <clears throat> now that's not it. Yeah, here we go. Second Peter 1 and 21. It says, For prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, being the Lord's spirit, man. And that's the spirit of understanding. <clears throat> and also, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, that scripture being the elect being chosen from the beginning but before I go there let me go to Romans 7 Romans 7 and what was it Romans 11 and 5 yeah here we go it says even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace and that's the one third and <clears throat> a part of that measurement is the house of David also known as the ministry of the prophets, the 144,000? And then you got the multitude that's going to come in, which is also say consists of men, women, and children, and literally also Israelite foreigners, man. Israelites that don't look like the, the Negroes, Latinos, the Spanish, and Native Americans, and similar Indians, but they're going to look like the people that were scattered amongst. But the bloodline or the lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is the lineage of the sons of God. <clears throat> and it says, and if by grace, then it's no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it's no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeking for. Would the election have obtained it? And the rest were blinded. So yeah, the ones who are going to get this truth and understand it in its fullest form. Is the elect of the elect, the lost sheep of the house of Israel being the 12 tribes of Israel <clears throat> going into that small remnant. And it says, according as is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they shall not see, and is that they shall not hear unto this day. And David saith, let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Meaning, let this Bible trap them. So when they read it, they get trapped or stuck <clears throat> when they read the scriptures and they just can't understand it but for their let they want to understand because it was given to them to understand as it makes mention here <clears throat> second Thessalonians 2 and 13 it says but we are bound to give thanks always to God for you brethren beloved of the Lord because God from the beginning chosen you to salvation through the sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, yeah, being the 100% the truth, man, being the full doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So, the same things that Yahweh Shai was talking about, the elect of the elect are going to believe it, man, and they're going to be able to understand. It's, it's only given to them to understand. Because, <clears throat> like it also makes mention, man, Amos 9 and 9. It says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So, yeah, man, the Lord is going to draw out that remnant 
is going to <clears throat> make a distinction or a difference between the normal Israelites and the ones who are of his elect of the elect. <clears throat> and that's why I keep saying the elect of the elect. Because at the end of the day, the elect is um the chosen nation being the twelve tribes of Israel. But inside the twelve tribes of Israel, there's also another elect, the ones that have been chosen from the beginning, to be exempt from these judgments that the Lord is going to bring upon the earth. And also let me head on over to Isaiah. Isaiah 10 and 20. And it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh, but Shema Hoshai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant shall return in the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be at the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. And yeah, man, <clears throat> that small remnant. The elect of the elect. That's what that's what it's about. That's that's who's going to be, that's who's going to be saved, man. The elect, as it makes mention, is in Matthew twenty four. Oh, where is it? <clears throat> Yeah, here we go. Let me start at verse 29. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be taken. And yeah, basically going into World War Three. <clears throat> because um the sun and the moon gonna be darkened by way of those mushroom clouds. <clears throat> just like it makes mention in the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and um, I think it's 10 if I'm not mistaken it talks about for the stars of heaven should not give their light nor the constellations <clears throat> and it says it should be darkened man and the reason why is because of um, the um, nuclear warheads when they explode they're going to release those massive mushroom clouds <clears throat> and literally light won't be able to penetrate through that thick smoke And then carrying on, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. <clears throat> and it says, And they shall gather together. It's lucky. I just jumped from one verse to another. Let me read verse 30 again. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And why, would all, why is all the tribes of the earth going to mourn? Because the Lord's coming back to execute judgment, man. Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to run his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the word plead goes into judge, or in the Hebrew, shapat. <clears throat> and it says, And the slain of the Lord shall be many, and also... You can even get Revelation 1 and 7. Because like it says, Behold, he come up with clouds, being the angels. They also say the host of angels or the army of angels, and every eye shall see him. And the reason why every eye is going to see him is because his chariot is going to cover the whole face of the entire earth. And they say, And they also which pierce him, being those Roman centurions, which proves reincarnation. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, a man, and the reason why the kin the kindred of the earth are going to wail or to cry out with grief is because the Lord going to be executing judgment. Because, <laughs> like it's mentioned in the book of Jude, man, Jude one and fourteen, and Enoch also the son from Adam prophesied a deed, saying, "Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all the ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. <laughs> so you see, when the Lord comes back, he's coming back to execute judgment. 
<clears throat> I'm just lucky it's mentioned in the book of Psalms as well. Psalms 68 and 17. This is the chariots of God, or you could say the vehicles of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord, Yahweh Shai is among them, as in the, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So yeah, when the Lord's present with the angels, and he's going to come back with them, and with the saints, to execute judgment, man. <clears throat> and yeah, the elect of the elect are going to be exempt from that judgment, man. And now let me head on over back to Matthew 24. <clears throat> yeah, verse 31. It says, and he, sh and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, being the north, south, east, and west, from one end of the heaven to the other. So, yeah, man, they're going to be saved from this nuclear destruction. <clears throat> and they're going to be exempt from these judgments. And the reason why is because they've been chosen, man. They're going to be saved from the said perils, as it makes mention in 2nd address 9. And 7, it says, And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. And yeah, that faith is only given to the elect of the elect. <clears throat> and it says, Shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So yeah, like I made mention to that either white woman, man, who was talking about, where did it say that in the scriptures? And I went to go show the evil dog, but she, she didn't want to hear it. She, she didn't want me to go into the scriptures and show her. But um, I'm glad the Lord gave me this um dream, man, so I could bring it out in real life. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, man. I hope this was at the final. I'm going to give a praise on and glory to you. How about Shem Amshai, Shem Rakakadash, and Shalom.